Hello everybody and welcome. I am the beta plan and this is Crusader Kings 2 with the favorite mod installed. To be exact, this is the 0.3.7 version. And I don't know if the developers of this mod are listening to my channel. If you do, let me know. I love to talk to you. Maybe help you out somehow. Let me know. But uh, they have given us the exact thing I requested a few series ago. And that is, if you want me to do Drow Dominance in the Diddlelands, which alterates beautifully, but is actually somewhat of a misnomer. I will continue. I will, I will come back to that in a moment. You have to give me Priest Spells. Because the Drow here in Cormontor... I, I will get back to it. D don't worry, hold on. Hold on. I will get back to it. Our Priests, at least if you are a proper Drow, we are the proper Drow. drow. We... We worship love, the only goddess of the drow that matters. We do not follow Loviathan, some 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 maiden of pain, so they speak. <laughs> They've never been apparently tortured by a proper priest of love, and uh, they have started to pray to gods from these upper world creatures. Yuck. And the, these these drow, they they follow the dark soldierine. Come on, and they even call love evil. I shall smite you where you stand. So we have gone with the purest of drow, we have gone with Chieftain Charfer of the Elven Court. The... I... F maybe... I have always thought that Mithran Dranor was the old capital actually of Kormantor. Yeah, I know it's the Jury, but how do I see if this is the capital? I, I forgot, I know there is a trick to it, but I don't know anymore. But yeah, this is called the Elven Court, so it kind of confuses me for a moment, but... This... Now that this is the capital. No, no, this is the old capital. Mithranor, Kormantor, and Kormantor, yes. But we hold the Elven Court, which... First things first. How dare we name that still the Elven Court? This is the Drow Court, okay? We are not some... Sissy... Sun-bleached elf... That sits in the top and on top and just forgets about their... Supremacy over all other races. Gosh darn it. We will smite you where you stand, whether you are green or a uh, sun elf, which I think you might be. Yeah, there you go. We will smite all of these people. We will conquer Kormantor and the Dale Lands in order to form the Empire of Kormantor. Now, why did I say draw dominance in the Dale Lands? It is actually more of a focus on Kormantor, because most of the time the Kingdom of Kormantor doesn't get overwhelmed as much as the Dale Lands are. Kormir tends to go up here, conquer this territory, and Symbia tends to conquer this lower territory. This series won't end until we form Kormantor. That is one thing. If we can continue the series, that always depends upon the mod developers, because 0.3.7 does break the save games of the old series of the, the 0.3.5 version. So, yeah, well, th that happens, okay? I can't really help that. But we, uh, we've got uh, some things to take care of. So what have we done as proper, proper drow, as Chief's Chalfair of the House Chuadu? Uh, that's how I'm going to pronounce it. I, uh, Dui? And I don't know how this, this... If I would use my native language, this would be Duis. But if I pronounce this Chuad Duis, I feel already the sting of some spider legs on my back. It doesn't sound right. But what have I done? Well, first of all, I've made sure that of my uh, council, or better say the minor titles, I've given my son the designated regent, and there's a reason for that. Don't tell me that my daughters need to be that, because males are nothing. I've made my daughter a magical apprentice, but if I put one of my daughters as my regent, you think I'm gonna live... They're gonna kill me and take over my territory. I'm not a dumb matron mother, okay? Let my, let my son handle the fight between his sisters. So that is what I have done. Named him the regent. I have uh, not named anyone else any special titles. Because we don't need to. And I say that because... Uh, everybody loves me. As they should. And don't you dare do otherwise. So, having said that... Um... This is our heir. She's a little arbitrary, but she's lustful, zealous, and cruel, and an impaler, a lover. 
and she is beautiful and quick. So you would say, marry her out. I will absolutely not, how dare you? Why? Well, if I want to arrange a marriage, yes, I can arrange a marriage myself with any of my courtiers and males, but I would lose prestige. I'm not gonna do that. And then you say, oh, well, then arrange another marriage. There are no drow to marry. I will not do this. I refuse to marry non-drow, okay? We are proper drow. We're not gonna we're not gonna take the Prince of Tetir because he has a claim on Tetir and what have you not. We're not gonna do that. I know it's a good 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 person to marry into, but we're not gonna do that. By the way, we do have one natural ally. Lies over here. Miserim. And the problem is I could arrange a marriage for her. I reckon with my son. If we do matrilineal. But I don't want to lose my son right now. So despite the fact that this is a natural ally. Not right now. If she can get Bibis. We will talk. When she get Bibis. Otherwise no. So I'm going to stay without a husband for some time. And... Now. The last thing. Ambitions. I would love to pick Sorcerer. But... I can only do Wizard, Bard... Warlock, Clerk, Barbarian, Dr Ranger, Monk, Rogue, Shadow. For some reason, I cannot pick Druid, which I assume is Dodo because I'm a Clerk. But why I cannot pick Sorcerer, I do not know. But let's just level up as a Clerk. Let's become the most legendary Arachne there is around. I have put my council on jobs in order to increase my piety and my prestige. Why do we need that? Well, we need... In order to do Ducal Conquest, I would need Piety. In order to do just a regular Conquest, which is much cheaper, so I have no idea why you would need the other one, but alright. We will do... We also need Piety. Uh, by the way, it's unfortunately very difficult to... And I will, I, though I will try... To vassalize these people. And then tell them to change their ideas. Because then I still want to revoke their, sh their stuff. Because I would like to control Kormantor and the East Starwood. Right now I can only hold 5 titles, so maybe I will just focus on that and leave them be for now. But the fact of the matter is that if I want to conquer these people, and I do not want to take them to lands, I cannot do a Tuku Conquest, I cannot do a Normal Conquest, I cannot do a Border Dispute. The only thing I can do is a Vile Conquest. Because that states vassalizes all lords of the region and takes all other titles in the Duchy of the Eastwood. And maybe that... Then even because of that last part of the sentence also means that they won't be vassalized. So maybe I cannot do it. I hope I can. I am not sure. Our, our first target though will be definitely this green elf. Only 872 people. It's not a lot. The other elf nearby has only 485. Those are our two first targets that we want to attack. But right now we need to wait. Because if we want to conquest 50 piety. So... For that case, we're going to go also with the theology focus. I know, that is a different start. But this can lead to gaining random events that attract you piety. Learning as well, but also, but theology even better, I believe. Think. So we're going to go with the theology focus. And then we're going to go and let the time rip. Now I also want to thank each and every one of you who voted on uh, the community page for what type of service you wanted to see and holy gosh did you guys make sure that that was a difficult one it was very close between ck2 and oh well that was short julaj immediately entered into the zentarum uh but yeah we uh it was very close between ck2 Faerun and ck3 in the end it was so close that i got a little bit like whoo i don't know what to do got me all still anxiety in a sense but this is interesting this is new in the mod. We made of air my apprentice. Uh, sorry. Minor titles. Apprentice. By the way, I really ought to revoke titles. As an allowance. And this is a new event of the mod. Your apprentice has shown the basics of magical training. Learning enough to not to kill themselves, hopefully. But there's many professions in the magical world. And sitting them down this path will likely lose them for decades, if not centuries. No immortality and power is mine. I will gain arbitrary and we become better rivals. Or in faith we will conquer all. 
She gains two learning. And she gains a trade arachne. Uh, I don't like that as reset, but I like the additional two learning. So we're just gonna have to accept that. We got merely got zealots. Whoa, special humans are mages or something like that. That's cool. But um, can we get 50 piety before these guys will start getting uppity about not waging a holy war? I do not know. First, siege down this. Oh, I'm not at maximum speed. I thought I was for a moment. My mistake. There we go. Uh, you will be um, ransomed if you will take her. Otherwise, I will simply execute you. I cannot, unfortunately, sacrifice her to love. That doesn't seem to be an option. Oh, we got... Ooh! We got your heirs, buddy. Now, it doesn't really matter that we have heirs. In the sense that if we want to wage war for this county, we're still going to have to... Uh, uh, take it all, so we can rather we can just ransom these people and just take the extra gold and be happy for the extra gold. Uh, here, there it is. I will dedicate more time to reading the scriptures, because there are many minister many mysteries in the Lothite faith. It might be interesting to just spend some time delving into the old text of the holy teachings. Yeah, it's unfortunate that this kicked her back actually in her arachne side. That's unfortunate. That is a, a thing on the mod on the 0.3.7 I would consider buggy right now, but otherwise it's good. Okay, so we burned down the whole holding. What we do now is we stand down our own troops. And then the Elven Court, I'm gonna say declare war in the conquest. I say that, but I'm also considering... Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm gonna go down here, because I'm tribal. I first want to have the tribal holdings. Uh, it's going to be some time before I do the uh, switch to feudal. Besides, do we need the elven tree? No, not really. Then again, otherwise, Mulmuster might attack for it. You know what? That is actually a good reasoning. Do the conquest. Combine them. You will never survive this. And the sacred text illuminate me. There we go. And we gain plus one uh, learning for ancient wisdom and religious studies. We gained a lot of learning. Love it. Here, and what is going on here? And he is already going for a city in Hillsfar. Which is why exactly I'm taking down the Elven Court now. Purely to make sure that we can actually uh, obtain this region safe and soundly. Oh, stay put and fight. We're not leaving. We're a drow. Gosh darn it. And we conquer. Now, this... Cast animate death spell over here. Summoning a force of undead troops. If cast on one province... If cast on a province populated by the living this will cause a negative reaction. Oh no, I'm more worried about the fact that you revoke your title. Yes. I don't care that my vassals will be annoyed. Which vassals? There you go. And we give it to a proper drow male. Now the question is, you. Arrange a marriage between you and me. Matrilineal. You would accept that still minus 100 though. That's a bit unfortunate. That is a bit unfortunate, I have to admit. Stand down the troops. The event spawn troops now did not cause me trouble. And we have another 50 piety left to start conquesting a little more. So let's dig down the other elf that's near us. Because, gosh darn it, we will not stand for these elves being near us. As I said before, green or sun-skinned, I don't give a hoot. You're going down. I gain brave. Oh, I got dysentery. Oh, uh, please. 
Are you already gonna kill me? Because thanks to the mod, this apprentice thing actually was for not so good for us. So, there we go. We got the Drow Court. The Drow Court now expanded to the Tangled Trees. And now we immediately need to attack her. Why do I say that? I've actually seen in some of my gameplay that the bloody Victorious Blades conquer a lot here. If you don't immediately kick them out, they might actually get very uppity about things. And uh, I don't consider that a good thing. So... Uh, that is a problem, I already noticed. Um, this is a forest. Master of Terrain. Oh, uh, no. Kill the enemy myself, I will show no mercy. I do show no mercy, but unfortunately... They're smarter in their troop movements at the moment, so we're gonna have to... Be smart ourselves and start hiring a company. This is what I mean. They are powerful. Do not underestimate these elves. That dysentery is really bad for us. Okay, but the funny thing is, which is why always good, is that because it's just a single fort, we can get 100% very quickly. But that is the removal of those elves. Now, stand down. We don't have the piety to merely do another conquest. But here's another elf. She gained the throne, the human died. Which means it is an elf, which means we need to kill it. 50 piety. Can I afford those mercenaries a little longer? No, not really. How many troops do you own? Eh, enough to be annoyance, but not enough to be a problem. So I say we dismiss also the mercenaries. Eh, it was a little bit the... Uh, here, the Victorious Blades are destroyed. The Victorious Blades are no more as the fortress and forced oh, hideouts burn. The last members of the once feared Eldred Velutra are hunted like animals and cut down without mercy or compassion when found. The legacy now survives only in the legends and stories spawned from their exploits. Good riddance. That is so good. We have uh, eliminated one of the last remnant strongholds of the elves. And here's a moon elf, by the way. Daring to moon us. Um, gosh darn it, stop making me ill. Oh, now I gain smallpox. Lovely. Which kills almost half of those infected. Interesting. The drow are doing... Whoa. He killed his heir. Because you, I believe, are mill. Yes, focused. Okay. Okay. Somewhat respectful. We we're going to take the dark woods from you. And then we're gonna say, hey, do you want to vassalize later on? Because then we can make a duchy title and you won't have it. Uh, Azinarun has taken pity on me and used her magics to cure me of my disease. Thank you so much. That is my uh, second daughter. Who is now actually somewhat better in her education. And she isn't arbitrary. I'm actually going to make you my heir for that. My second daughter. But this is cool. This is cool. The drow are doing well. We need only a bit more piety before we can... Oh my! And they actually go out here. This is the best thing I've ever seen the drow work. Alright. How many troops do we own? Do we have enough? No, not by a long shot. Do not declare war at this moment. I would love to, but not good. Let's seclude myself in prayer. And there we go. We gain 100 piety and we might gain some trades. Now the question now is, can we handle you? No, not at all. 
So it also starts to... Oh, I really ought to give this away. What is mass restoration? Attempt to cure disease from a target province. I would like that, but I'm really worried. Can I cast Undead over here? I assume not. No, I can only do it in my own provinces. But this holding is a, a wrong holding for me. Starting to wonder if I... Yes. No, not honorary title. I want to grant you land. I cannot, of course, because we are agnatic. Right. Then I'm going to grant it to you. Or... Or... Hold on. Nope. Better idea. Present a debutante. Absolutely dog shit. <clears throat> nope. I am willing to spend uh, a little bit more on that. That is absolutely not what we need. Come on. A little better of a debutante. Oh, come on. Last time? Because I'm wasting too much gold on this. Absolutely not. Just do it like this. Randomized. Oh, and then it's a mill. And, we, and he's even hor... Uh, oh, oh, oh. He is bad. He is really bad. Oh, well. Can with them all. What's going on over here? Defending against in the claim for the coast of Hillfar. Yeah, they now want to attack him. So his conquest is soon to fall down because of Moormaster. And that ha tends to happen a lot. That Moormaster becomes powerful. So that's why I did take the Elven tree down. Besides, they were Elves. They had to die. It, 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 it was not, a, a, not up for debate. Yeah, back to being the Dark Woods alone. Alright. And back to having very few troops. I know she's an elf. I know, but he thinks Loth is evil. That is also something I cannot abide by. So, for 50 piety, we're going to tell him who the better god is. I know this will destroy their family line, and I apologize for those who were like a little bit like, yeah, but oh. We'll be imprisoned, but everybody else will hate me. That's interesting. Uh, I gain arbitrary, and I don't like gaining arbitrary. Do this. Hold on. Hold on, I'm a little busy. I uh, immediately want to release you from prison. I want to place the marshal back on it, my son. Cannot, apparently, for some reason. But he is a 19. My son is a 32, which is much better. So I dislike that incredibly. That I can't place my son in there back. We could offer him a concubine, but... Wait, 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 wait. That is allowed? Offer consort? Your brother? Oh, that is allowed. Oh, I didn't realize that. I d was not aware that was possible in, in, uh, in Drow society. Sure, let's do and keep it all in the family. All for a consort. Here you go. You can't marry him, apparently, but you can have him as a consort. Congratulations. And who am I going to duel? This guy. Yes, I don't think so. I will do him myself. Another victorious victory. 
killing him as we take on war in this little territory. This is unfortunate that my son uh, was so bad. Oh. She cures me of the disease. Thank you. That is uh, still very, very nice. And there it is. They are no more. Now the question is, to which court are they going to go? I assume, because they are Dark Saladrine, they will go down here. Because there are some Dark Saladrine over here. Oh. Sorry. Here. So let's keep a little bit... Not a track on you. I want to keep a track on you. Uh, yeah, that is indeed the county that I said they would go to. And I assume everybody went with them? Yes. So, the Dark Saladrine, unfortunately, um, these drows, not here. And it's gonna make a, a task even more difficult, because now we can create a duchy title, but... yeah. Manpower is first a thing. Hmm. I think it's time for another raid. No, you can stand down, because I want you to replenish. We're gonna do the, the risky one first. The advantage is, this is a city, and we'll go down quickly. The disadvantage is, it's of Mulmaster, which has a lot of troops. I'm gonna put the speed down. Way down, because I don't want to lose my troops. I get out just in time. According to this, at least. Thank you. So we did gain 58 bucks by raiding that stuff. Noise. Um, I think it is time that we start raiding you. And we might want to do that anyways in order to limit their armies. Because there are some armies over here of their... They are a merchant republic. So their houses are starting to form up armies. Uh, on the other hand, we could immediately declare war upon them. You know what, let's just do that. We don't allow elves around here. Let's... Uh, then on the other hand, there's other elves we could take down. And you are tribal, and all the tribal holdings are very nice here. And there's, by the way, this time, Komontor didn't take it, Zentarum took Daggerdale. They also took... They, they, they start with Tashendale, I have to say. They didn't take it, they started with it. And uh, these guys are currently independent, the Dales over here, but uh, I'm keeping my eye on it. So are we go am I going to go for the tribes or not? And soon I need to start uh, telling my... Uh, I think I should do that in by, uh, right about now, to tell you to start converting. I first want to keep these drow, change them from the Dark Celadrine to our faith, because I think that is better. Because they are at least already drow, and I should also tell you, who is building a level legend for me, but I do want to kind of uh, start working on settling a tribe somewhere. <sighs> the chances are just so low of you, you are too, too, too bad. Mm. And it's just the chance that you get... W the chance that you get wounded is higher than the chance that you s solve it. Hold on, can I just not invite a noble to court? Yes, sure. Well, let's try it one more time. Uh, he's a giant of an elf. I know I should keep him just to uh, appease the people and just hold on. I, I will do as you... As I'm sure a lot of people would uh, request... Here you have a giant of a consort. Enjoy. So both my daughters at least have a consort. That's at least taken care of. Um, that will mean that their children will be concubines, but uh, we're just going to have to accept that. Uh, I don't need per se more children because I already have two daughters and I don't want to gavel kind my terrain too, too much. Um, designate a regent. Still my son. Still the best one I can do. We need a new commander, though, apparently. Nope, my son is back in there. 
So he's allowed to get back into there, but he isn't allowed back to yet into his uh, martial position. That will take some time before uh, the fired um, uh, modifier probably gets taken away, which is until 73. Or 65, because I don't know what re if it's recently modifi uh, recently fired or the fire from council modifier needs to go away. Mm, what will we do? We won the duchy title. And then we have a de jure claim on you. And you still own this, don't get me wrong, you still will own something. Not sure for how long, but you will own something. We first need to raid actually a little more. Like for instance, are you my lover? Why are you purple then? Normally that is a lover thing. But uh, I think uh, I see a raid target. I said I would conquer, but I have decided already against that. I am fickle in that way. Love the sides differently. We are going to go into Featherdale. Uh, ooh. I have reigned for long enough that my rulership is starting to be taken for granted. Some of my vassals have have come to shave at the lack of advancement opportunities in the realm and will likely make trouble if they remain in power. You. Oh, I will lose 250 piety. I'm not going to worry about that. You can have your immortal suspicions. Because you are not really a, a poor person that bothers me at all. Hey, I didn't realize you were from a house over there. Do you guys have immortal suspicions? No, you just want to see it on the council, which I can understand, but no. Raid, raid, raid all day, raid along the way. Take the money of the elves and the Yumi's all the same. There we go, there is some cash. The Duchy of the East Starwoods. There we go, we are now a Duchess. We will make this the focus right now. Uh, of course, that le also leads to us having more commanders. Yeah, sure, if he dies, I don't give a hoot. Because he's actually a bad ruler. And then the question is you. I am the Jour Vassal. But there's a small difference in rank only. She doesn't believe in my power difference. And I am of a false religion. Also, her daughter died. Died under suspicious circumstances. Well, I think suspicious circumstances while you being a cannibal. I think Lof has indeed decided that we are the better religion. But, with the Drow Court now established in Kormantor, and with the Zentarum moving in the Daylands, hey, the Zentarum is getting a little bit more powerful these days. I like it. It also always used to be the Cormier. But uh, yeah, with that, we're going to end the episode here. We're going to raid some more, and when I come back, I promise you more conquest of Kormantor. And its surrounding lands. I say I thank you for watching and remember great peril yields great beauty.